Big, big facts. Let's get to it, man. Pull your pants up. B.I. Radio. Yo, man. So, the more I think about it, and I'm a good man with a lot of insight. I have great insight on things when I think about things. So, what Tank is doing, y'all, the reason why y'all haven't heard about who he's fighting next is because he's trying to find a cherry tree. See, the, the cherries, Tank has exhausted the cherry tree. You know, there's slim pickings on the cherry tree. Not too many cherries left for Tank. Uh, they trying to, they in the lab, they done hired scientists uh, trying to figure out how to grow another cherry tree. So, Tank and has so Tank can have some cherries to pick because we know Tank love is cherries. Uh, Tank favorite fruit is cherries. Uh, he eats cherry cereal in the morning. Uh, he has a brand cherry ice cream out there. Uh, he has a new drink, cherry cherry juice is that is in all stores right now. Cherry juice, Tank's cherry juice. You know, y'all can go pick that up at all stores, Walmart, Kroger, Publix. They all have that new tank cherry juice. Uh, he also has a, a cherry pie out. You know, so Tank loves those cherries, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's no denying it. Tank is a cherry man. He loves those cherries. Um, so that's what he's doing. Uh, the reason he don't want to fight Devin Haney is because he figures five cherries equals one Devin Haney fight. He he figures if he can fight enough cherries, he get the same pay as the Saudis are offering him to fight Devin Haney. So he figures, you know, his math is all fuzzy, but he figures uh five cherries, maybe I can get fifty million off of five cherries. That'd be the same equivalent to a Devin Haney fight and I don't have to lose. So, cause he know he don't have no confidence he'll win that Devin Haney fight, and he don't want to lose. He want he has this, you know, Floyd unconvinced him. You know, you gotta have an O on your record. You can't lose. So uh, he's going the Floyd route, the Money Mayweather route. You know, so that's what it is, man. Uh, five cherries equals one Devin Haney fight. But uh, he's sadly mistaken. He probably gonna get three million for each cherry. That's only five. That's only fifteen million, bro. When well, you can get like fifty to a hundred million off of Devin Haney, even if you do lose, you taking home damn near a hundred. Probably from fifty to a hundred million, you cashing out. You know if you if you negotiate right. But uh, he don't. You know math is not his strong point. Math is not his strong suit, you know. Math is not his strength. And uh, he figured five cherries, he'll be good. He can retire off of those five cherries. Uh, never have to fight. He's like LeBron when LeBron says it's all easy. You know, he's going to win six or seven championships. He, gonna, he want it easy, the easy route. But that's what Tank thinks. He thinks... Uh, all he got to do is fight easy fights, get his five cherries. You know, he good. He going to make enough money with his five cherries. He can retire. He don't give a damn about the Hall of Fame. He only care about the money, but he want a zero. He don't want to lose either. You know what I'm saying? That's So that's what he's going for. But the thing is, the reason we haven't, he hasn't named an opponent, the reason why we haven't heard about Tank's next opponent. Well, there's rumors out there of uh, uh, Frank Martin and Raul and all this other stuff, but it hasn't been officially uh, named yet. His opponent hasn't been officially named, and it may be Frank Martin. And I heard Frank Martin is a game opponent. You know, I'm not going to pretend like I, I know too much about Frank Martin, but I heard he's a game opponent. Still not on the level of Devin. You know what I'm saying? But uh, 
I heard he's a respectable opponent. Cambos, if he can fight Cambosis, Frank Martin, those are respectable opponents. I, I give him respect for that. And who else? You know, they definitely have any leftovers, but uh, I give him respect. Those are game, I, I think those are game opponents. You know, top contenders at 135 boxing. But the bottom line is, you know, if he got a, this so-called hit list, why don't he name his hit list? Why don't he put his hit list out? A hit list of George Cambosis. You know, if, if he put George Cambosis on that hit list, I can respect that. Frank Martin on that hit list, I can respect that. You know, then he go to Lomachenko, I can respect that. Then he go to uh, Shakur Stevenson, I definitely can respect that. Then he go to uh, Devin Haney. I can respect all that. But he ain't named his hit list. I think if he do name his list, it's going to be a cherry list. Because Tank loves cherries. Tank loves cherries. Tank loves cherries. Yeah, because he loves his cherries. Like I said once again, it's cherry season. It's duck season. It's cherry season and duck season with Tank L. It's a tick cherry party all the time at Tank's house. Cause he stay on Cherryville. He take he stay on Cherry Street. His cars are cherry colored. You know what I mean? He wants two cherry Ferraris. <laughs> you know. Yeah, man. So uh it's slim pickings. Look like he done exhausted all his cherries. That's why you haven't heard. Is is he's in a crisis right now. The sign he done hired scientists trying to. Uh, they're trying to uh, create a cherry tree, and they're in the lab trying to create this cherry tree. Like I said, trying to grow a cherry plant so he can have a surplus of cherries all the time. You know, until he retires. He can have a tree out there. He can go in his backyard. That big, beautiful cherry tree. He can pick cherries galore. He can eat the cherries to he can't eat no more cherries. And he, he can be sitting with a full, fat belly on the ground, in the grass, laying down. Oh, man, I'm so full of cherries. Oh, bro. Woo! Oh, I ain't eating another cherry again. I'm so full. Oh, God, I can hardly walk. And I ate so much. I, I, and I ate so many cherries. I can hardly walk. Oh, God, I'm fat off cherries. Yeah, so uh, that's what he's doing. He's trying to find cherries. Uh, like I said, Tank done ate all the cherries. Ain't hardly that many cherries left. But uh, he'll probably figure out a way to get some more cherries. And, uh, yeah, that's why I believe it's taking him so long. You already heard uh, his trainer come out and say he don't. they don't want Shakur Stevenson at all. You know, they can't touch the curse. They don't even want that smoke. You know. So, uh, yeah, he, he thinks his five cherries going to equal to a Devin Haney payday. Like I said, he's sadly mistaken because once the fans figure out, once, once these dumb fans, once these, uh, the casuals, I'm not going to call them dumb, but if they keep supporting this guy, they are dumb. Once they figure out he ain't going to fight nobody, once they figure out Tank is not trying to fight tough competition, the top guys, Tank is not trying to make the best fights. Once they figure that out, that he is not trying to make the best fights, his celebrity friends going to start calling him out, Meek Mill going to start blasting him, you know, all the, the rappers going to start blasting that boy, you know, call, you know, saying, calling it what it is, he a punk, he a coward, claim you from the street, but he don't want no smoke. He really don't want no smoke. Where you from? Sesame Street? That's the street you from. Sesame Street. Don't want no smoke, man. I was smoking mirrors. So, he figures in his, uh, you know, in his, uh, you know, one plus one math head, he figures, you know, that, like I said, Five cherries equals one Devin Haney. He 
he trying to, he thinks he ain't got it. That's why he ain't taking the fight. That's why he ain't, he ain't looking, he ain't listening to all the money he can make. Because he thinks he can go another route to make that same amount of money, fight five cherries. He going to make the same amount of money, but no, 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 you're selling mistaken, sir. You're not going to get, because once, like I said, once the fans figure, oh, once fans figure out, oh, this is who we fighting, no, no real competition, just fighting these, uh, these lame guys. What they call them in wrestling? These jobbers? <laughs> you know, back in the day when wrestlers didn't fight real competition, they, they called, they was called jobbers. So Tank just want to keep fighting jobbers. So once the fans figure, oh, you just fighting jobbers, bro. They ain't not going to support you, bro. You're not going to make no money. You're not going to make no money like that. They're not going to pay you all this money. You're not going to rob the bank. They ain't going to let you rob the bank, bro. Uh, you know. So he going to be. They're going to put him in the corner. They're going to trap him in the corner where he has to fight. A tough opponent. If you if you want to make that big retirement money, you know, or get the fuck on, you know what I'm saying? Cause then it's gonna come to a point you ain't gonna even get three million for fighting these cherries. You know what I'm saying? Three times five, fifteen million. You gonna you gonna get three million for each cherry you fight. <laughs> uh, that ain't half of what you can make with one Devin Haney fight. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, he's in a, Tank is in a, you know, he's just, he's in, a, he's in, a, he's in the middle of the road right now trying to figure out what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, he's sent back, he, he he's thinking. You know, he having restless nights. He, he having sleepless nights. Because he know he can't continue to fight these cherries if he trying to make the big money. If he trying to make generational wealth money. You know? So he's, he's sitting back trying to figure it out. He's perplexed. You know, right now. He having a hard time right now. That's why, like I said, you, you you haven't heard an opponent yet. You know, if you fight, like I said, if you fight Frank Martin, cool. But who we going to fight after that? Who we going to fight after that? Frank Martin ain't going to give you that money that you so desperately want. that you That's going to put you up there in the top. In the top, uh, in the top most paid athletes. So yeah, buddy, you got some thinking to do, Tank. He knows he can't beat Devin Haney. He knows that. He's he truly knows that. So uh, yeah, bro. Five cherries ain't gonna do it, Tank. <laughs> the mouth ain't gonna add up, bro. You gonna you gonna have to you gonna have to choose. You gonna have to, you know, grow some balls and just make a big fight and potentially lose. He feels like if he loses, it's over. His career is done. Mm -hmm, that what it is. So yeah, bro. What more can I say? But we should hear officially his official opponent soon. You know, he don't want to do no interviews. You know, you know he know what it is. But yeah. We should hear because it's March 30th, I think that's when they say PBC uh Amazon Prime that's when fights gonna gonna happen around March thirtieth. They already announced Roly Romero versus Pitbull. And 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 uh, T 
Ter- not Terrence Crawford. And uh, Keith Thurman versus whoever. I forgot the guy, Keith Thurman. Who they said Keith Thurman was fighting. But, yeah, bro. So, Tank, let me just tell you. Five cherries do not equal one Devin Haney fight. So you're going to settle for $15 million rather than 50 or $100 mil. <laughs> uh, you backed up in the corner, bro. Ain't no way out, Tank. Ain't no way out. The only way out is to fight Devin. Or another top top guy in your division. No more cherries for you, buddy. But you can pick some cherries. You can pick some, you know, some lab-grown cherries. You know what I'm saying? If you want to. But you're only hurting yourself. Peace.